a Howard County community mourning the death of one of their own. And WJZ Live at 530, Paul Gessler spent time with Timothy Johnson's parents today and has much more about the legacy he now leaves behind. Paul. Well, Rick and Denise, Timmy Johnson is the son of two teachers, including Glen Elk High School track coach Philip Johnson. He had multiple disabilities, multiple COVID infections, and died last month. Pictures dot the front lawn of the Johnson's Ellicott City home. When he had that little red chair that he used to sit in. Oh, yeah, I remember that. They're also scattered across Karen and Philip's dining room table. Oh, and then there's a picture of their birthday with a cake. We always loved cake. The two are surrounded Wednesday. Everybody looking nice in that picture. By condolences for their son, Timmy, who died last month. There's a lot of memories of Timmy everywhere. 25 days shy of his 25th birthday. He would have been 25 today. Timmy had cerebral palsy. He was blind with multiple disorders and an intellectual disability. Even though he had all these disabilities, there was nothing that was stopping him to participate with his family. He enjoyed swimming, even bowling. He lived in an adult care facility, and during the pandemic, his parents could only see him for doctor's appointments. Before COVID, Timmy had spent little, very little time in hospitals for extended periods. He contracted COVID three times and died May 7th. This is uh, Tim's wheelchair. Karen shows us her son's custom wheelchair he got over Christmas. He only used it a handful of times. Now they're looking to donate it to someone in need. We didn't know what else to do but to love on him. and. And we're still continuing to love on him um, as we continue his memory on. His story is definitely a story of overcoming obstacles and doing the best with what you have, no matter what life, um, what kind of hand life deals you. Now, Karen told me she plans on pushing Timmy's empty wheelchair at the Walk for Our Stars fundraiser in October at Cedar Lane School. That's where Timmy graduated as commencement speaker in 2018. For Live at 530 tonight, I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ.